Hey, this is interesting. The other day, a guy told me to suck a bag of dicks. That was interesting. I never heard that before. Total stranger told me to suck a bag of dicks. A whole bag of them. He was angry. He didn't just, you know, suck a bag of dicks like a greeting. You know. Oh, suck a bag of dicks to you too, sir. Thank you very much. Yes. It's a lovely day for sucking several bags of dicks. <laughs> now, what happened was I, I cut him off in traffic. It was just one of those things where it just, I had to get in and no one was in my car to judge me and I just fucking, you know, I just decided. He's not me, so I don't care what happens to him, and I just cut him off. It's just a shitty thing to do. And it was bad, because he was coming fast, because he didn't imagine in a million years someone could be that big of an asshole. And so when I did it, he had to slam on his brakes, and his dog went poof in the windshield. It was really very bad. Very bad. And the worst part is, when you cut people off, they, they don't vanish. They're behind you now. So I'm looking back, and he's like, fuck us! He's so mad! And he keeps trying to get next to me because he just wants to see my fucking face. He's just done. He's like, I gotta see this cocksucker now. I gotta see the fucking face of the piece of shit that just did that to me. And I keep cutting him off because I don't want him to see. I'm ashamed of what I did. <laughs> nope, nope, you don't. <laughs> Finally, we get to a red light and I gotta face him. Only because there's a car in front of me. Otherwise, I would have fucking blown right through there. <laughs> but there he is, just fucking... <laughs> furious and I'm, I'm like I know it was awful I shouldn't have done it you know, I'm not mad I was wrong why would I be mad and he's like well, fuck you and then he starts going like this because he wants me to roll my window down like I'm supposed to take part in my own abuse during this argument you know well I'm sorry I don't want to miss this what do you have to say about me yes how rude of me to shut out your anger with my so I did I rolled it down I'm interested and he goes, hey, asshole. And I'm like, yeah. He says, suck a bag of dicks. And then he drove away. And I was kind of sad that he drove away because I had a lot of questions. But that concept of sucking a bag of dicks, it's just weird. Like, first of all, when you picture a bag of dicks, what do you see when you picture a bag of dicks? Is it like a plastic bag and they're all mushed in together like chicken parts and with a date written on it with Sharpie, keep it in the freezer? Or is it like a paper bag and they're sticking out like baguettes, kind of like you went shopping? Bringing home a bag of dicks for the kids. There you go, Susie, take a blue one. You know, like a little... Uh, I don't know, you, they were hanging in a window somewhere, give me two of those. <laughs> and how do you suck a bag of dicks? What does he want me to do? Does he want me to take a bag of dicks and suck it? Like suck the side of the bag? Or do, does he want me to open the bag and suck each dick individually? And throw the used ones in a bowl like at a mommy shells, like that? <laughs> Do I have to make them all come? Is, you know, like how? <laughs> you can't answer a kid's question. They don't accept any answer. A kid never goes, oh, thanks, I get it. They fucking never say that. They just keep coming, more questions. Why, why, why? So you don't even know who the fuck you are anymore at the end of the conversation. It's an insane deconstruction. It's amazing. This is my daughter the other day. She's like, Papa, why can't we go outside? Well, because it's raining. Why? Well, water's coming out of the sky. Why? Because it was in a cloud. Why? Well, clouds form when there's vapor. Why? I don't know. I don't know. That's, I don't know any more things. Those are all the things I know. Why? Because I'm stupid, okay? I'm stupid. Why? Well, because I didn't pay attention in school, okay? I went to school, but I didn't listen in class. 
Why? Because I was high all the time. I smoked too much pot. Why? Because my parents gave me no guidance. They didn't give a shit. Why? Because they fucked in a car and had me and they resented me for taking their youth. Why? Because they had bad morals. They just had no compass. Why? Because they had shitty parents. It just keeps going like that. Why? Because fuck it, we're alone in the universe. Nobody gives a shit about us. I'm gonna stop here to be polite to you for a second. But this goes on for hours and hours and it gets so weird and abstract at the end it's like, why? Well, because some things are and some things are not. Why? Well, because things that are not can't be. Why? Because then nothing wouldn't be. You can't have fucking nothing isn't. Everything is. Why? Because if nothing wasn't, there'd be fucking all kinds of shit that we don't like giant ants with top hats dancing around. There's no room for all that shit. Why? I'll fuck you. Eat your french fries, you little shit. God damn it. You know, you have your bad thoughts. Hopefully you, hopefully you do good things. Everybody has a competition in their brain of good thoughts and bad thoughts. Hopefully they win, the good thoughts win. For me, I always have both. I have like the thing I believe, the good thing. That's the thing I believe. And then there's this thing. And I don't believe it, but it is there. It's always this thing and then this thing. It's become a category in my brain that I call, of course, but maybe. I'll give you an example. Okay, like of course, of course, children who have nut allergies need to be protected. Of course. We have to segregate their food from nuts, have their medication available at all times, and anybody who manufactures or serves food needs to be aware of deadly nut allergies. Of course. But maybe, <laughs> maybe if touching a nut kills you, you're supposed to die. Of course not. Of course not. Of course not. Jesus. I have a nephew who has that. I'd be devastated if something happened to him. But maybe, <laughs> maybe, if we all just do this for one year, we're done with nut allergies forever. No, of course not. Of course, if you're fighting for your country and you get shot or hurt, it's a terrible tragedy. Of course, of course. <laughs> but maybe, maybe if you pick up a gun and go to another country and you get shot, it's not that weird. <laughs> maybe if you get shot by the dude you were just shooting at, it's a tiny bit your fault. Of course, of course, slavery is the worst thing that ever happened. <laughs> listen, listen, you all clapped for dead kids with the nuts. For kids dying from, <laughs> from nuts, you applauded. So you're in this with me now, do you understand? You don't get to cherry pick. Those kids did nothing to you. Of course, of course slavery is the worst thing that ever happened. Of course it is. Every time it's happened, black people in America, Jews in Egypt, every time a whole race of people has been enslaved, it's a terrible, horrible thing. Of course. But maybe, maybe every incredible human achievement in history was done with slaves. Every single thing where you go, how did they build those pyramids? They just threw human death and suffering at them until they were finished. <laughs> how did we traverse the nation with a railroad so quickly? We just threw Chinese people in caves and blew them up and didn't give a shit what happened to them. There's no end to what you can do when you don't give a fuck about particular people. You can do anything. 
That's where human greatness comes from, is that we're <laughs> shitty people, that we fuck others over. Even today, how do we have this amazing microtechnology? Because the factory where they're making these, they jump off the fucking roof because it's a nightmare in there. You really have a choice. You can have candles and horses and be a little kinder to each other or let someone suffer immeasurably far away just so you can leave a mean comment on YouTube while you're taking a shit.